Good afternoon, everybody. We're taking a look at the S&P 500 Turbo Option Trading. And we're going to go ahead now and we're going to take a look at the S&P 500, which is in our uh, trading application that we built. And each one of these lines are 3.11, which is $3.11 and 11 pennies per one-fourth value dollar movement. And right now, what we see happening is that the S&P is catching a lower bid down here. And we can cl clearly see that each line is $3.11. So you got one, two, and three. And this is a major part of that 60-minute uh, resistance at 12.03. Uh, PM Pacific Standard Time, 57 minutes left on this particular S&P 500 trade and how strong that this trade really is. And by using our platform, it's a 61 IR. That means that it's fairly, you know, going to stay here. And unless we print down in our system, so 0.30 would go up toward that minus 1.22. And basically, there was a big move on a quarter delta environment on how to trade the S&P 500 and live options trading intraday with the S&P 500 index uh, put option called to put ratio. So we'll visit that next. We're featuring the uh, call option right here. Yes, it's most definitely a 2140 put that expires in September calendar uh, 16th, which is a monthly expiration. And we can clearly see here that this daily chart is a actual put chart. And the higher that this goes in value, the more money that we make in our turbo option. Um, and we can clearly see here in live action, along with that S&P trade, is these are the ones that we have been making markets in down toward the lows. The um, range is 3.85. And the volume of these contracts are only 12. And the reason why we're in a holiday weekend coming up, and we are, so this is once again a put chart. And all of you people who claim that you trade options, 99% of you have never even seen a chart. You don't even know what the imbalances are, any of that. I'm glad you find this. So once again, 2140 put option. And we'll talk about some of the other ones that we have, which is a 2190 put. And here it is right here. And we can clearly see that they had highs up there on this uh, 2190 put. And, you know, you're talking highs that were up there at $30 and higher. But it's the sentiment of what people are doing. The 2180 put is one that we like. And we've been buying it when it's been down here. And the 2180 put was deflated. Put to call ratio in the S&P 500 index is what? Imbalanced. And dollar price action will have to be what we call rebalanced. And that's the reason why we have 2180 puts as well. And then again, here's another big Weezer Deezer, and that's going to be this one right here. This is a put chart. This is a 2160 put chart that we had started buying. And we can clearly see that all of you people that want to trade these options and whatnot, listen, man, we own our own Turbo Option Exchange. Uh, we know how to do this. So the 2160 put is coming up very nicely. Once again, related to what? The S&P 500 with the put charts on the S&P. And now we have a great three-day move going into the holiday on the 2160 put. 
option. One of the things that we can clearly see as we know that this is a holiday trade, this IR here at 47 is going to have to go down to um, 25 or lower. We had a 1.3 delta. We had a $16 range today in the 60, in the 60 minute chart here. 16.47 intraday range on the S&P 500 in the S&P 500 market maker application 51 by 45 he prints 45 we're coming down so once again let's let him figure it out but the move is weaker and it's three dollars and eleven cents so we're going to stick with the game plan and we're also going to conclude again the 2160 put this is where when we were going down to the lows today they had made this high here. And so this is the put options on the uh, S&P 500, how to get entries and get exits on the S&P 500 trade. Here are my friends, MMT traders. Listen, the diamonds are robots and they're bots that we developed to outrun the HFT models and what is being used on this three minute reversal that happened. This is when the put options pay money. And then we came right back up in that volatility on the uh, three minute S&P 500. And we hit these diamond support levels right in here. And remember that the three minute value on each line is 0 0.78. And once we keep falling below 50 here, then, um, will be making easy money. So let's go ahead and blow it up one last time on that S&P 500 trade. And this is what you're taught to do is how the diamonds show you how strong or weak. And we can see over here that that was a breakout. That's when the um, call options are going higher in value. And so we have an elevated 45 minute tape to the closing bell here we are on a three minute concluding the three minute s p 500 and how to trade it 